I love giving gifts and I'm not sure that I would go as far as to say that it's my love language. However, it would not be uncommon if we were to catch up for me to bring along a little something that I've picked up on my travels that I thought that you might like. And I thought today we could dive in with a Christmas gift guide. There are five key categories aside from experiences that I personally really love to gift. And I'm gonna break it down category by category and they are wellness, home fragrance, serving wear, jewelry and adornments, and bath and bedding. A little tip for those of you who are feeling stumped, even with these ideas as to what to buy their loved one, perhaps you might like to buy them an elevated version of something that they already are using, something that's a little bit special that they might not buy themselves. And I will say that is a little bit of a common theme here with the gifts that I have selected. And I definitely feel like it's one of the keys to successful gift giving. So we'll start off with wellness because as I mentioned, this is the biggest category and it kind of encompasses a few things. For me this could be doing activities, maybe it's working out, going for a hike, it could be snuggling up at home reading a good book with a really big slouchy sweater, it could be indulging in some beautiful skincare which feels really decadent when you're applying it, it could be treating yourself to some of your favorite chocolates that you're only having every once in a while. I think when we're going about our daily lives it's very seldom that we tend to buy or splurge on that really special version of this. And what I really like about this approach is that it is very easily scalable depending on your budget. I've set aside some examples here to show you what I mean when I say I'll be gifting something within this wellness category. So one of these would be skincare and there are so many great value sets out there and this is also a really perfect gift for the beauty lover. But I think something a little bit more special or that kind of delves into that idea, that concept of me time is perfect. So for example, what I have here are these masks from fresh and I really love both of these but what I like about them is that they really force me to kind of indulge in that practice of taking a breath, taking a moment and just taking some space for myself and that's what I really love about something like a mask. You can also turn just the entire process of getting ready in the morning doing your skincare into a little bit of a ritual through something that is a little bit more luxurious. So something like a serum. The one I have here is from Merit but there are so many brands that offer this type of product and if you're looking for something that has a similar texture to this but is more readily available the Tarte one is a near dupe. Otherwise one of my favorite skincare brands Emma Lewisham. This is a New Zealand B Corp certified eco-conscious brand and all of their products feel very high-end and very luxurious. And they do also tend to be a little bit more expensive too but I think I would be very happy if I found something like this under the Christmas tree. Another example could be a beautiful drink bottle. This one here is from Bink and it is glass with the silicone closure which is BPA free. This has on it market side and the intended purpose here is to help you with your water intake to ensure that you're staying hydrated throughout the day and when I think of wellness and taking care of my body staying hydrated is one of the number one things. Of course I have to mention knitwear because when I think of wellness and also just kind of looking after myself I want to be comfortable and of course feeling very festive in my red cardigan here but I think cashmere is probably the most luxurious fabrication that we can gift to a loved one. Now sadly the two brands I've got here only ship within the US. I feel like we need to sign a petition to get them shipping worldwide especially to Australia but Quince first one I had to highlight incredible value for money. I feel like the actual quality of their cashmere it feels really luxurious and to me this is a really good alternative to Jenny Kane. You're getting that same sort of luxurious experience from wearing this but without necessarily that high price point and if you did really want to scale up Jenny Kane would also be a great option too. They have such a cult-like following and of course her designs are beautiful but Quince tend to offer very similar with similar like-for-like -like materials as well. And they have a really good range of items especially in cashmere. Their $50 cashmere crew for me is such a winner and I think a really giftable item. I've been talking about La Saison Sportif a little bit recently but I mean their Australian merino wool knits are so luxurious to wear and this Nell oversized sweater is kind of the epitome of comfort and looking after yourself. It's the sort of thing that I wear when I want something that feels really comfortable against my skin but that is also going to have that ease and slouchiness to it that I crave on more casual days where I'm just trying to relax. Now this is really if you've got a super big budget to gift a loved one or maybe you are gifting yourself but an LED light mask. So again thinking about wellness, looking after our skin, this is something that can allow you to do that LED light treatment at home. And actually I did give one of these to my sister for her birthday and I know she was so excited to use it. Or, and I've actually got a couple of gifts that my stepmother gave me and I have to say she does a good gift like she has now gift giving a wheat bag now 
she gave me this before I went into labor and it was something that I used in the birthing suite and this is something I use quite often because I have a sore back and so I need something like this to help relieve some of that pressure because the warmth really helps and this was something that I had but I, I didn't have a really nice version of it. This one is scented with lavender and so it just has this really beautiful aroma and again it adds that sense of luxury into that wellness routine in my life. Next category is serving wear and this is always kind of my go-to if I'm not sure what to get a person because we all need beautiful crockery to put our food that we've prepared on but also a really great gift for the hostess. Again easily scalable so if you wanted you could get a really beautiful mug. My favorites tend to come from anthropology or alternatively supporting the local so I really love Zuko which we have a few of his mugs and they are just one of my favorites to use. Otherwise as a slightly smaller gift you could do some serving utensils. These ones are from In the Roundhouse as part of their new collection and they have the enamel handle and then the silver fork and spoon and just really cute. These aren't gonna break the budget and actually a really good option for a secret Santa gift too. Then we have a beautiful platter. These are also from In The Round House and I just love the scalloped edging. In The Round House has to be one of my favorite brands for gifting serving wear just because it is a little bit more playful, whimsical, quirky, a little bit different to what you'll get elsewhere and the quality is really lovely. I just adore the scalloped edge trim on these and actually these are gonna be part of our tablescape for Christmas day because we are hosting this year and I will be using their scallop edge dinner set for this which has the red trim which is so perfectly festive and that would be a really lovely large gift for somebody if you're a mum and your daughter is maybe moving out of home that would be such a special thing to receive and really beautiful for all the dinner parties that they might be hosting in their new flat. Another option for serving wear would be if the person likes cocktails, getting a really lovely cocktail mixing set or even a really beautiful bottle opener as well. Especially if the recipient likes to drink the occasional beer, it can really just elevate that experience in everyday life. Next category is jewelry and adornment. Again, something that I really enjoy gifting to loved ones. And I think there are a few options here. Bracelets and necklaces tend to be the safest bet as well as earrings. I have done a whole video on all of my favorite jewelry pieces that are on sale and hopefully many of those sales are still live today so I'm going to link that up in the cards here but I think maybe even an initial pendant or something that has a birthstone in it really stunning and that can be a little bit more of a subtle way to uh, give that level of customization. Sarah and Sebastian is an Australian brand that does really lovely initial pendants and I received one of those as a gift and it's something that I really cherish. Then we have home fragrance and I really enjoy lighting a candle but I don't really love splurging on them quite often these can be a little bit more expensive and they feel like a real luxury to have in the home so again this is really scalable you can kind of go for something a little bit smaller you could go for some incense and a beautiful little incense holder again something that I've gifted someone before and it went down really well otherwise you could even do some beautiful taped candles especially if the recipient really likes to romanticize the act of having a meal with loved ones uh, but other options could be to maybe go for a diffuser something like this one here this is from Jo Malone and actually I dropped on the way down it's surprisingly sturdy because it's not leaking or anything but that's really nice and I find that the fragrance from this it it really lingers and my husband had one in his office and every single time I opened it I felt like I was being smacked in the face by the fragrance so great for big open spaces and so of course just like the diffusers a beautiful candle is a great option this is again something I really like gifting this one is Palm Beach it's fig and cedar wood and it smells like Christmas I can really smell it coming out of the box it is so strong and we love a fragrance that really fills a room uh, but again there are so many options within this sort of category here and and another choice would be to even get a room spray. So I have this one here from Bondi Wash and this is Tasmanian Pepper and Lavender and I really like to spritz this on our guest bed whenever we have someone come and stay. I feel like it just kind of elevates the experience and makes it feel like they're staying in a hotel. But you can easily bulk out gifts like this with other little items either for self-care or for the home. So whether that be with these lovely little dishcloths or even a little wooden nail brush, something like that for cleanliness. I mean, I just think that in itself is a beautiful gift or even giving a lovely handmade bar of soap so many options and I mean even more special if you've made the soap yourself and so for our final category bedding and bath of course sounds like exactly what it is items that you have in the bedroom or in the bathroom and 
Again, this is something that I was gifted by my stepmother and so thoughtful and I think these are probably the nicest towels that we have. I've bought some from so many different brands and these have turned out to be our favourites. These are the bath sheets from Country Road and again, I'm pretty sure they have a site-wide sale. They're really big, they feel really luxurious and I love the print. This colour also coincidentally goes perfectly with our bathroom. Um, but. Yeah, I think, I think something like that you couldn't go wrong with a, a little set with a hand towel with a bath mat and then also with the face washes or maybe even just getting two of the towels if it's a little bit out of your budget to kind of go the whole hog. If you wanted to scale up even further than that, bedding I think is such a lovely gift, especially linen bedding. I said this a few times but the magic linen bedding we have is probably my favourite. We've got the uh, bedspread, the duvet cover upstairs in our room and I just really love it. The quality of the linen is beautiful. I also really like my Cozy Earth Bamboo Blended Sheets. They are very comfortable and they wash well too. They feel really lightweight and silky against the skin as well. So not quite silk sheets but very similar. If we are scaling down, some beautiful pajamas would be a great option. And I've got two here. So one is a little bit more affordable. These ones are from Atmos in here. And they're in a lovely kind of candy stripe in the green. They feel incredibly festive. And these are the shorts version. Or alternatively, I mean, I was so thrilled to actually get to work on this campaign with Papinel and Karen Walker. But a really luxurious pair of pajamas not necessarily silk because I do find that silk pajamas can be a little bit more fussy but these ones here are in a tensile blend and they are very oversized and relaxed I've got I actually ended up buying the shorts after um, the campaign because I loved the long pants set so much and I wanted to be able to wear this throughout more of the year Scaling down even more, a silk pillowcase is a great option. They have antimicrobial properties, really good if you are someone who is trying to kind of look after your hair as well, or even just a little set of silky hair ties too, and you could combine this with a wellness category and get some lovely chocolates, and that just makes a beautiful gift. So that kind of rounds out my gift guide for 2023. I hope that you found this helpful, and if you want to get more ideas, you can always scroll back and watch some of my previous videos as I share so many gifts in all of them. I can never really curate it down to just one or two things within each category I kind of go a little bit overboard <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for spending some of your day with me I hope you are having the most beautiful start to your week and I will see you soon with another video thanks for watching bye